Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to episode one of Deep Meaningful Cuts with your host, Dara Kelly. And Jamie Duffy. And today is our first episode and we're delighted to have James Doyle on with us as our first guest. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's amazing to have James on because James, I suppose, helped us come up with the idea of this podcast indirectly. <laughs> no, I didn't like say like, just <laughs> he didn't podcast, up, podcast. He didn't, no, he didn't text us come up with the idea, but um, Jamie was cutting James's hair. How long ago? About two or three two weeks? Two or three weeks ago. And uh, Dara kind of said, geez, the chat was good. We should make a series out of this. And uh, two weeks later, here we are. Look at you now. Here yeah. we are. Uh, straight in. As our first guest. So, yeah, James, I think me and Jamie would know you quite well. And so a lot of people in Ireland. Um, but if you're, I suppose, describe yourself or tell people who you are, who are listening now or watching, uh, what would you describe yourself or what field? Well, look, I, I, I'm a man who likes to talk shite. Uh, probably not much else to say about that, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, I, I go to the gym and I lift heavy circles the odd time. That's about the height of it now. That's all I usually get up to. Yeah, yeah. Similar to ourselves about the talking shite now. I'm not sure if we can lift as much as you. That's but But, um, yeah, yeah, I suppose it's been a very, very uh, mad journey for yourself in terms of how long have you been doing social media now or when did you start tiktok exactly well i started tiktok there uh i think it was it was mid-april last year i think it was like april 18th or something i just started it because um i was done college and i said look if i make too much of a tit of myself <laughs> at least no one will be able to slag me for three months <laughs> so i said you know what i'll uh, i'll just go at it and give me all into it so that's exactly what i've done and here i am today sat <laughs> in uh <laughs> after getting a trim in a podcast so that's exactly be, yeah, it. Yeah, living yeah. the dream um, at what stage did you kind of realize you could make a career out of TikTok, or when did it become real for you? Um, which is like I'm only earning money from it there since August. Um, so like my first couple of months leading up to it, like I didn't have any inclination that I thought I would make a living. You know what I mean? I was only doing it like you know I was grand, getting sent out the odd free thing and stuff, and that was cool. Like you know, and uh, just kept kept lit. And then when I started making money, I was like Jesus. <laughs> quit the job now so <laughs> <laughs> and here i am now full-time making living off it so happy out like and know. you're still in college as well which is something people don't seem to forget or maybe they don't know that you're you're in your final year in college and you're balancing that along with your social media and then you've you obviously the gym as well to be keeping as big as yeah you. well like look uh, i always say to myself it doesn't i don't really mind if like you know i lose the tiktok or lose the college or anything as long as i'm in the gym and I can get to the gym and do me thing. I don't really give a shite. Like, I'm happy tipping about doing anything. So the gym um, is your priority. The gym is priority. And it always has been, you know. Uh, it does fall off, you know, for a, a while, like a week or so. I, I might be a bit off the wagon or that. But like, then, I, then after that, I realize, you know, here I may cop on and get straight back into it. And as long as I'm doing that, like, you know, I'm kind of happy. So uh, even with college and stuff, like, it's primary third priority now at this stage. <laughs> which I know is a mental thing to think about, you know, because most people in college, like, all they stress. care about is get the dissertation done. I'm not a man to stress. I never like stress. Um, really, yeah. Even coming up, like, any big assignments or exams? or I'll, I, I just exams. won't. I won't no? stress. I okay. think there's too many things to be stressed about in life to give a shit about anything. Do you know what I mean? Would you say you're smart enough, then you, you can coast along and... Look, I can bullshit my way through any situation. <laughs> I've been bullshitting my way through life <laughs> 20, 20 years. I can get away from it. I get away with it for the rest of them. Yeah. Um, I'm an expert now in bullshittery. It's fucking gone well for you, so. <laughs> well, like, look. That's the degree. <laughs> I, um, I didn't have to do leaving cert because I was in COVID. Yeah. And yeah, one of those. Just yeah. got, just chance. The just, boat is, I'm the only one here who's actually done the leaving cert. <laughs> just, just, just a chance or like. Literally you know, not leaving certain site. <laughs> God loves a chance or literally not leaving certain site. God loves a chance or, and like, look, I, um, I, I kind of was, I probably would have failed at even sort of now if I ended up having to do it that year because yeah. I didn't study it or anything. I'm not, I'm not a man who likes to study. You know what I mean? I'm not very academic. I'm cute, like don't get me wrong, Jesus, yeah. and, and my head screwed on. Streets, man. What What was it that that man said to me there in my comments? He goes, uh, "Jesus, if you had brains, you'd be you'd be you'd be forced to be reckoned with." You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> cheeky bastard! And he said, uh, the funny thing was, he actually spelled brains wrong. He said Brian. <laughs> He said, if you had Brian, to be a force for record. I, I just replied, just me and Brian, lad. Lethal combo. That's oh what I said back to him. Cheeky little fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, um, I just, I've never been a man who's like school. And to be honest, I'm only in college because I kind of got pressured into doing it because I had no an idea what else I wanted to do. And I wouldn't mind, like, you know, I say that I don't really enjoy the college and that type of stuff. Like, obviously, I enjoy going on the piss and that type of shit. But, like, 90% of it, the reason why I think, like, I probably wouldn't change anything is because the fact that I was doing a course 
that allowed me not to have to go to lectures or anything yeah. was the reason why I was able to get into the gym and be so successful at it. Yeah. Like for all now last year, now this year I've been going to my lectures and stuff because my final year and it's bit, that bit more challenging. Mm. But like second year, I literally done all my stuff off YouTube. I didn't go to a single lecture. Like last what? last semester, not last semester, but last semester of last year. Yeah. So last semester of second year, I literally went to three lectures. Not like three lectures a week like i'm talking in, I total, went to, over in total over the entire semester i went to <laughs> first lecture um i went to the second lecture that week then i didn't go to any of the rest of them Jeez. up until one final lecture i went to because i didn't know what i was going to do the essay on and i thought i had to go to the lecture i left halfway through because i realized you're you really mean it when you say you don't stress about things no. like you're that chill like i do it. not stress uh it, like are, it, are you happy enough to just you just pass you don't really yeah. care no like look for the the degree that I'm doing, I'm, I'm not, I don't see any, like, outcome in it, yeah. you know, and at least not immediate. Mm. I'm just kind of yeah. happy to get the piece of paper now at this stage. Yeah. Like, I, I have a lot better things to be focusing on. I'm a fully qualified personal trainer now at this stage. Shout like, out. Be, yeah, yeah. Shout, anyone looking for <laughs> any PT? I, uh, I'll be starting me coaching, but you can buy my workout plans now already, like, you can buy it, you know. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I'm not concerned about the college, like, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it's not only in terms of college, like, I wouldn't stress about anything. I think, okay. to, like, life is too short to be stressing about stuff. And right. of course, there's stuff that you need to get done, and like it is hard to do stuff that you don't want to do, but you just go in and do it, and you don't think about it. Sure, you might put everything to the last minute, like I'm a whore for procrastinating. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Now I tell you, lastminute.com is my middle name. Like <laughs> it's actually Tom, but you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, I, I just, I, I just, I just rock with it. I just yeah. rock with it. You know? Yeah. No. Um, would you say you'd probably have to be a hard worker then, because to be, like I said. <laughs> Maybe even organized? Would you say you're organized then? No. No, you're not organized. I am very unorganized. <laughs> okay. I am the most unorganized person you will meet. Uh-huh. Um, like, you even you go into my bedroom there. And yeah, what's your you bedroom know? like? Usually uh, people say that's the way... State. The state <laughs> of your mind is. Isn't that, isn't that a thing? People yeah, say your yeah, bedroom like, reflects the state, the state of, my state of your mind. mind. <laughs> my mind is all over the gaff. Don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> Let alone the crazy. bedroom. Yeah, I tell you, if a man came in to fleece my room now, he'd probably just look at it and Turn walk around. around. Like, yeah. Yeah, he, he, no, there's not it's just all over the gaff I, uh, I'm i very unorganised and everything but look I'll end up doing it do you know what I mean like it might be la- like la- I'm telling you even catching a train I've been in many a situation I think the last four trains I've got on they were literally it was a minute before I took off like I just got onto the train and right. then left like I'm literally last minute for everything but I will get it done yeah yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. I find myself similar enough to that as well I, well, I need I need a diary like do you keep any sort of schedule at all. I like how do you know what's no. coming I don't up? I just keep it all in the back of my head like yeah. oh my god <laughs> your head be fried like. I'm, I'm the same though I feel like I'm the exact same and very much like you I procrastinate everything until it's the last minute yeah. except I might stress I definitely do stress a little bit more especially like college assignments or that but I will leave it last minute and then yeah end up staying up all night doing it yeah, <laughs> yeah well I'll do that too yeah. like but yeah. I won't stress it like if I hand it in late yeah. hand it in late that's just the way to cook yeah, crumbles, like, <laughs> I think everyone in life is like nearly destined you know what I mean yeah. like, what do you think like you know when you're in school growing up did you think oh, what what job did you kind of want when you were growing up well actually I talked about this um, a couple of months ago and I think it was there at New Year's you know everyone's doing their New Year's resolution New Year fucking yeah. new me all yeah, shite, yeah. you know but um, I was thinking to myself like Jesus I never set resolutions. I wouldn't be a man for it. Like, like I said, everything comes and comes laid and goes. Back, you know much laid I mean? back fella yeah. in Ireland here. I, <laughs> has to happen, like you know, someone has to be. Um, so I, I, uh, what should I call it? I was thinking though. I was like, Jesus, you asked me now two years ago what I wanted to do in life. I would have told you, I have no idea because I literally, I did not. That's like that's why I done communications in, co- in college because I was told I was given this dream that oh you can go into Anderson after yeah. communications, like you know, like I knew I could sh- talk shite. But um, I just didn't really have the confidence to get or whatever. And it's like, fucking, I'll, I'm sure, look, I'll do this. Give it a, give it a whirl and see what happens. Yeah. Um, so I, I done it, but like, I, I had still had no ambition. Like, the only thing that ever gave me ambition in life and a goal to work towards was the gym. Mm-hmm. And that's why, like, I just, something clicked in my head. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, you don't really know that it clicks until it clicks. Yeah. And, like, I was, I was doing a lot of things through my entire life. You know, I played the football, I played the rugby and everything. And talk, us, talk us about that. Talk about the rugby and the football. Like, what age did you, were you playing your whole life then growing up? No, I started okay. very late, actually. Okay. Um, I started with the football, and I only started when I was about, I must have been probably 11 or that. 
And I started because one of the lads was telling me that they needed a goalkeeper for the game. <laughs> uh, there was like a game, oh, some underage game on anyway. And what were you doing before that? You just weren't playing any sports? You weren't pushing it down? Computer. Like, I used to be a big yeah. gamer, you know? Oh, I, mean, I used that way. little fat kid who used to play and fucking... And that's what actually gave me the insecurities that, like, and gave me yeah. eating disorders and stuff because I was that little fucking fat little prick who played Minecraft all day. No Do you know what I mean? Like, I, and I was. I hated going outside. I never got any exercise. Um, and then I got into the football. I was shite at it, like. So but, would um, you say you're an introvert, introvert then for yourself? Or used to be, maybe Anthony. Definitely not anymore. Definitely not anymore now. <laughs> I don't know. No, I I don't like giving a label to it because yeah. it depends on me mood. You know what I mean? Like I definitely talk shit, and Jersey asked me to talk about myself. I'd go <laughs> rambling for hours. That's why I'm so good at these podcasts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I had to talk shit for fucking Ireland. I give a shit. They asked me to talk about myself. Now I'd, I'd write a dictionary. Yeah. But um, uh, like, I uh, I I I'm mostly extroverted. I I don't think I'm. I think I am an introvert, but I just have a shit ton of confidence. There's a difference. Yeah. Something, yeah, you've, I mean. something you've built up so yeah, you're saying maybe when you're, yeah. yeah yeah and i think what you're saying there about the gym the gym does build discipline yeah. and then motivation can come and go so i think what you're saying there the gym a great thing about it is it builds discipline you're building your schedule you're going to the gym four or five times builds consistency yeah. and then obviously confidence as well comes with that because you're seeing results you're seeing you know listen i'm getting stronger i I'm love looking at way. myself like yeah that, yeah so. exactly i think it's such a good thing what i said there yeah yeah so many young lads i think over the last few years have started getting into the gym yeah um because yeah. i remember when i was younger definitely the fitness industry rob lips that used to watch him when i was younger but i think you're the new wave now of fitness like i don't know influencers that have come through it's i think a, you've it's changed the game as well because it used to be very much serious yeah, yeah it's bringing well, a fun you've, you've brought a bit of fun gym, to it you know with the tiktok now coming to light i think you've definitely changed the scene yeah like look i i, I think people have a really bad perception of gym um i think people kind of look at it and are like just you have to be some meathead that just like you know just picks up yeah, shit and yeah. drops it down big angry cunt and like look i i'm i am a big meat head <laughs> yeah big angry cunt like as you say <laughs> and the odd time but the gym can be very enlightening you know yeah. what i mean um like i got into the gym and like i said i had no goals but it gave me something to work towards and i knew i wanted to like i i, I remember you know um there's two movies that come to mind for inspiration. Like people ask me for inspiration for the gym and stuff, and I don't really look up to anyone because I just think I'm shit hot myself. Really? Like, you know you what I mean? Like, well, about growing up, would you have watched any? Like I said, there any fitness influencers? Anyone no. you'd watch? Okay. Never, never watched anyone. Uh, I didn't okay. really give a shite to so be honest. How did you like? How, how did you your get first it? day stepping into the gym? How did that? Come I always about? knew I wanted big arms and big tits, basically. <laughs> um, I always remember. I always remember looking back at the first Captain America movie and like seeing him get out after getting the super soldier serum, yeah. and I was like, "Just I'm gonna be that big of a yeah, bastard yeah. someday." Like, and then I also remember um, the Rock and Jumanji, where he used to pop the tits. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. "I want to be able to pop my <laughs> fucking titties. I want to be popping them up and down." So um, that was the kind of the two things that kind of, uh, kind of stuck into my head. Like, yeah, I always want. I wanted to do that, so I, I knew I wanted to be massive. Okay. But um, I, I also thought that. Like you know, I was a fat fucker, and before, obviously when I got into the gym, I had no idea what he's doing. Like, like come here, you said you said you only started the gym twenty months ago, so yeah. Well, twenty one. I was what day is it today? Is it the thirteenth today yeah. or fourteenth? Yeah, it would be. It'd be, so, it'd yeah, be just fourteenth of February. It'd be about <laughs> twenty one months now, roughly. Jesus. Um, I started the gym. I think it was the eleventh of June, twenty twenty one. And did you get a personal trainer to start off, or no. how did you? How I did just you figure out what you need. Rocked to do? in, rocked out with the cock out, you know. <laughs> I uh, rock and all shit around. <laughs> Literally, Let just start picking up shit. <laughs> I am James. Day. I just started picking up shit. I, I literally, boobies. literally just started. Uh, picking up random shit and being like Jesus okay well that's obviously a curl and then yeah. I started watching YouTube videos and yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. watch watch one YouTube video on something and then I'd I'd think Jesus is this right though Can then I'd watch another YouTube video on it yeah. watch another YouTube video I'd watch like I spent my first six months in the gym going to the gym pissing about doing whatever I wanted then looking up YouTube videos about a certain thing and I'd look yeah. from loads of different people because that's the thing with the gym yeah. there's so much bullshit yeah. online about the gym yeah. and like half the fuckers would be selling you this whole fake narrative of like you know trying to sell you supplements and that type of shit mm. and like all you need to do is basically go in and lift shit and have a plan and what you're going to do yeah. that day consistency like, and working hard i've never i've never tracked a single lift in my life people go in with yeah. their notepad and stuff yeah. i just diaries. go you in with the diaries everyone tracking every every set every set this yeah. the reps i just go in and lift until i can't lift anymore like really, really? that's it i pick even on on a like say a machine or something you know you stick the pin in or yeah. whatever and people like you know you'd say okay i've done 32.5 i'll do yeah. 35 this time whatever yeah. i'll just be <laughs> say I done if I done I'd say I done around forty the last time. 
stick 40 in and just fucking rep it out like yeah, yeah and you've progressed the overload like obviously it's worked like yeah that. you just yeah. you just go what you're feeling like that day and you're going to you know grow like people overcomplicate the yeah, gym it's, yeah, yeah. it's literally just lift some heavy shit eat enough protein and you're going to be away <laughs> with it like I do have young lads coming over to me and like you know, to be overcomplicating the shit out of it. Like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm tracking, I'm eating 200 grams of carbs today, I'm eating what, yeah. and I was like, lad, like, where the fuck are you going? Like, unless you now, I mean, even at my stage, like, I am only 21 and 21 months in the gym, but like, I'm like, you know, I'm a big bastard. Like, even at my stage, it's not going to be another year or so until I start tracking my lifts and stuff. Yeah. Like, I've only had like a proper dedicated plan to myself the last like three months because I made one to do with me posture. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like before yeah. that, I had a plan, but I was just trying to hit all the muscle groups. I didn't really think anything of it. Mm. Then I lay it down one day for, um, I literally spent three days on this plan. Like I looked at all my muscles, right? Looked at all the muscles in the body, seeing, okay, I'm going to have to hit all these muscles. What exercise am I going to do from? Then I decided, uh, how what muscles are your big muscles what are your small muscles then which muscles are big assisters which ones are small assisters which ones don't assist at all yeah. i broke up all the sets and reps into that and then i also analyzed my posture and said which areas i need to work on i right. built a plan off that it took ages for me to do but um now that i have it it's like the perfect plan for me do you know what yeah, i mean yeah, and i've seen yeah, some yeah. serious gains for it yeah. i've just hit a 140 bench there recently and um so that that was that was me like i've i've dedicated more now to me back because i've seen me shoulders rolling over so i need yeah. a stronger back like did you learn all that during your pt course or just over the course of youtube, YouTube and stuff and when, youtube when did you do your pt course were you doing were you balancing? december okay so you're December. doing two courses at once yeah he's doing my college course and my pt course um okay. and like it made, made it now a pain in the hole because i was missing all my lectures and stuff and yeah. my lectures were given out about was, was the pt course during the day yeah Oh my god. So like I'm spending two days a week in my PT course and three days a week on my uh on my college course. But you're passionate obviously about the PT and Yeah, well like look, I, I I wanted to learn as much as I could from it, but the thing is now, especially with personal training, um I don't know what image or whatever, and it's a great course, don't get me wrong, I never put them down. Um yeah. it's a really good course. And I really enjoyed it. Like I do actually miss it. You yeah, know, it kinda yeah, yeah. it kinda reminded me nearly of school a bit, you know, the whole social aspect crack, of things. You know, yeah. it was good crack, especially at lunch, like you know, the well, talk kind of, if you're going away doing your It was, it was fun, weeks. like, you know. But yeah. um and it was great to do it in person because I hate doing shit online. Yeah, like, it's wrong. So it was great. it was nice to be able to go in and stuff and do it. But the thing is with a personal trainer, you will never be a good PT if you're not doing your own research yeah. and stuff. Like, you see some lads rocking into PT, like, being a PT and stuff. And, like, so they, they, I think the turnover rate of a PT is massive because, like, within their first six months, they realize, jizz, I fucking hate people. Nah, I'm not going to coach anyone or yeah. jizz, I don't know how to get clients and this, this type of stuff. Yeah. Like, unless you're doing your own research and you know what you're at. Like, I know what I'm at in the gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've yeah. done a shit ton of research. Like, I'm very passionate about making sure I know what I'm doing is right. Yeah. And, like, people go in and they just think they can rock up and fucking... Oh yeah, do you know a few burpees there? <laughs> yeah, that's not what it takes to be a PT. That's like. where you're successful, and you're seeing the the growth from your passion. Yeah, you're saying about the YouTube videos and stuff. That's how I learned how to cohere as well. YouTube videos, just watching yeah. Yeah. on repeat, repeat, repeat from different people, learning different ways to cohere, different hair colors, textures, lengths, everything. Mm -hmm. So you need to do your own research to definitely see big improvement in what you want to do. Yeah. it all comes down to passion. I think yeah. you know if you want to be successful, you do have to be passionate about what you're doing. Um, it definitely helps anyway. You know, because you need that from within. You need to have an interest in it. Like it's, you said, it's there. too hard to put in to put in the work you need to if you're not passionate yeah. about it. Like, Honestly, yeah. God, yeah. You're not going to care about your work. You have to have an interest in yeah, it. Yeah. I think it definitely helps. And that's why we're all going. BCU here, going. Jesus, what are we going to do with our course after this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like look, I I think a lot of people are sold in the belief that you need college to do something, yeah. and like. Yeah. I, like sure like i'm in the position i'm at there now without any need for college like i know i'm doing communications which is technically a media degree but like i said the best thing that i got out of doing college was not going to college yeah i mean like you know that's very similar to me like i feel like i did the the leaving cert uh through the COVID, or like you know got yeah. to predict the grades and then i just went straight into college and never really thought about it no and now i'm yeah. in my final year and i'm thinking i'm not even gonna use did this you, like, were you even in First year of college? No, or? I was online. Okay. I was online first yeah. year. Oh, yeah. you 2020 online. leaving, sir? Yeah. yeah first I feel year. like that did ruin a lot for, you know, yeah. your year coming into college, going straight online. Like, you didn't yeah. really get the first freshers. I've, I've still experience. haven't had a college night out yet. Not what? <laughs> I've never gone out in a college night out. That, that's on you. That's, that's on him. Well, what do you we mean? Can never, we can I never haven't get had a few drinks, out. like, in town or anything for. With, like. Because I'm usually working in the evenings, like. He's, so, and I drive into college, so I'm not getting 
You've never been on New Bar. He's never been on New Bar. New Bar, no, he's not. Not missing much. No, in fact, you've never been on it. Like it's yeah, no, never. You're always busy. Talk about a man being busy and organized, Jamie. Most busiest, busiest man I've I've ever met. You're not. You're not missing out on much now. I won't lie to you. Sure, every night out is always the same. You get pissed drunk and don't remember and go home. Good yeah, luck. smack a big smack, Chinese. Smack good a chipper on the way home. <laughs> Literally, like there's nothing, and, and it ends up costing you a fortune. Like yeah, yeah. realistically, FOMO is the only thing that yeah, exactly. that ever gets you to go out. Yeah, I'm a ba- I'm a bastard for FOMO now. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the one thing. Off. Like it could be any text off and one of the lads, and I'll be like, oh fair. Where, See, I, where's I, your favorite place for night out if you're going? Oh, coppers. 100% yeah, coppers, yeah. <laughs> I go to coppers every night. Like um. I've, I, Jesus Christ I've been in coppers now too many nights where I've just been absolutely shit faced and yeah. they're sound like you know what I mean sure everyone's probably buying you drinks now. you probably don't have a choice yeah well like anywhere I go like I will usually get drinks bought for me um, which is amazing Even like Jesus dream. Christ like I love I love when women buy me drinks like I just like <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, women buying you drinks that's <laughs> yeah like look it's 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 uh, the matrix man yeah <laughs> it is it's it's a cool thing and still somehow i end up spending like 100 quid on an night out even though i'm being bought food man you like. need to feed yourself but that's without me even <laughs> buying food i never buy food after a night out really? because it's always too many calories like even when i'm pissed yeah. drunk the la- the thing in the back of my mind is too many calories yeah, even though i'm yeah. after like down in a fucking full thing of vodka about 20 <laughs> pints yeah. and ever the last it's all just oh chipper no too many calories well, what's know? what's your drink of choice now if a girl's Death. ask you what oh. you want you see, well, uh, if I'm at that stage now, um, it's probably like. Okay, well, walk us through your night. So your first couple of drinks. What oh, do you let's like go through pre drinks. Why are Woo! you pre drinking on? Before it night depends out? now. It depends where pre drinks are. Okay. Like, uh, if if I'm having pre drinks at the gaff, uh, it'll be uh, white ro- white wine from little. Yeah, seven fifty. Seven fifty white wine a little. Wow, a little great. bit of Pinot Grigio, you know. <laughs> even um, now, even now, you're, you're still drinking yeah, the white wine. Yeah, bare, barefoot. Hasn't changed the way. I'm one of the stingiest men you will ever come across, <laughs> and I genuinely mean that. Like. Um, like I won't buy people drink or anything. I just like you know, like lads will go up and they buy a bird of drink to try and get with them or whatever. Like they just want, like yeah. not just it's never done. You've, you've never, you've never like, bought. Never even before the TikTok and stuff. Even before I got jacked, I'd never do that. Never bought a girl a drink. No, I'm but, just yeah. mad stingy. Like the only time I'd ever buy them a drink is for me mate or something. And yeah. Like I ah, go on the shots. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, I just I I don't know. I I'm, I'm very. I'm all, I'm bad for that. Buy people drinks. Like, what? Right, what well, uh, if you're going on a date? Sorry, does it change? Stuff? If you're, would you, would you pay for the date then? Yeah. I've never been on a date. No oh. way. All right. If anyone's listening, it's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Hit up the DMs. Never once. I have Although, never dated anyone. Never Jesus, been on a date. A okay. Yeah. Um. For just, any reason for that, or just hasn't? Uh, I want to stay single. Like I don't want yeah. dates. Do you know so what I mean? I don't scared, want like, if you go on a date, you're gonna catch feelings. <laughs> well, sure. What would be the point of going on a date in the first place? Then, like, if you want, you can go on a date, have a nice evening. You know, treat yourself. Bit what, of, bit of with myself like well no you can go out have a nice evening with a girl like or a boy <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we doing that but, uh, <laughs> no i um i just i just never arse like so why would i bother yeah yeah i think listen when you're young it's it's good to say single though i know listen you're in a relation <laughs> all right um but, OIP uh, over here <laughs> 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 yeah. but yeah no i think it's 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 a good way to focus on yourself well actually. that's kind of like, a lot of people do, not listen some people can't relate shit in the grape but i think a lot of people do lose themselves as well yeah, yeah i don't have time for myself never mind a board like there yeah you go. yeah that's that's basically the height of it like yeah. it's not yeah. build yourself up and you've goals and stuff that you want to achieve and then listen it will come it yeah. will come hand in hand, in hand. yeah well, that's kind of now valentine's is a bit lonely like you know just yeah what do you mean alone? yay they actually bought me flowers and chocolate it's great like <laughs> what else would you do on valentine's <laughs> I've been doing a podcast. Yeah. Living oh, yeah. the dream, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving like, on from Valentine's, us, uh, all right? <laughs> start, start Three lads sitting on the couch. Yeah. It's going to start crying. <laughs> At least so you're looking good now. So, yeah, going back. Too. So, you'd have, you'd have wine on the for pre drinks and then going out. Would you stick to the vodka then? Less cars well, and a. Like, I'd like, you know, I, I ideally like pre drinks in the pub because I just go on pints of Guinness. Like, I'm a whore for a pint of Guinness. Oh, I'd eat Guinness all day. Like, yeah. Absolutely destroy it. And how many um, Guinness could you reckon you put away? It depends. Like, just there before, just before, like, or at the start when I was working out, like, just I'd drink eight pints in an hour. Like, what? Eight, oh, I mean, probably, wait, eight no, pints in an hour? Like, literally, like, I That's mean, properly. Eight minute like, point. Yeah, literally, I would skull it. Jesus. Um, Jeez, that was great, Marcel. <laughs> that was at the start of me working out, but now that I'm like, you know, can't really be sculling that much many pints you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. um so you're you're holding yourself back for the game yeah i am definitely hour. holding Sorry. myself back <laughs> but like i'd still have about eight pints but i'll be over like three hours or something and yeah. then i go into town and That's you know go on a place and where would you go for a pint where's your go-to pub in town um, would, it, would it matter 
in town like they're all overpriced well, actually maybe we shouldn't give this out like. <laughs> 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 now in Dublin like there's fucking yeah, narrow places like, I'd really want to go for pints yeah. um, let me think who will just have a, I know Hux does a nice pint in, on Camden there yeah. um, see there's not many because they're all overpriced as fuck like um, okay so when you go out to, on, you're on the night out now yeah right What's, pretty drinks over um, you've smacked your eight Guinness go on to the nightclub uh, it'll probably be double vodka whites or Jaeger bombs just fella can put it okay. away and then um, after like two or three of them, I had uh, begun the tequila. Tequila, just like shots. I've gotten shots of tequila. Do I do love them? At the start, oh. I used to do it because it used to give me like an energy boost. Because you're like, Rrr. now yeah. I literally just drink the tequila and like I literally don't even have a reaction to it, which is like shocking because it's kind of like just I might be an alcoholic. Still <laughs> you have know to, what I mean? Would you have use the lemon and salt? Yeah, I'd have the lemon and salt, but like it's only for the taste like yeah. after do you know what I mean it's not like I like, you know, literally later. would not be like repulsed by Jesus. it anymore which I is shocking I tequila like, I love you know what's tequila the, what's mad I've never used the lemon or salt I just do the shot really yeah. why you might be I, that I, then I just do it <laughs> I uh, no, so tequila well, sambuca sambuca oh. yeah, I'll go for a sambuca now probably over tequila sambuca that gets me sick now genuinely yeah. like I don't know I just I, I, like, I can't I don't stand. mind it Ooh. I don't yeah, mind it yeah licorice it's just ugh. like yeah. uh, you ever have a silver bullet yeah man they're disgusting tequila and sambuca ooh that is rough now that is yeah. a rough one. Jaeger bombs, I love a Jaeger bomb. Yeah. yeah. Smack them all back. No, I, I ate into a Jaeger bomb now, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like doing the odd, like, you know, concoction of shit. Oh. Um, I remember there over, you know, COVID, when you had to be drinking indoors, whatever, like, there was no nightclubs open or whatever. Me and the lads yeah. used to meet up to play poker. And uh, me Fast. and one of the lads would go into into town and pick up, like, no, into Carrick, like, back home in Leitrim, like, mm. we used to go into town and pick up, go to Tesco and say, all right, we'll make some cocktails tonight, right? <laughs> and now, like, you say cocktails, it was kind of just like, you know, when you're, like, five years old and you just mix loads of, like, shampoo and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, little yeah. potion. It might as well have just been that with drink. Um, You'd be mixing Anton, we'd just go in and buy the wildest shit, mix it all into a fucking big tub and, yeah. and drink over for the night like and it used to get you mad pissed yeah. and um what's called i was out at 21st there on saturday and we said here we'll do this shit again <laughs> now look you're gonna fairly judge me on this now when i tell you what we drank Uh-oh. but uh we we were walking around there like what do we do we got a crate of bud anyway and then we we're walking and we we're like Bot- bottles of bud now don't get me wrong they are class you used to drink them when i was like 18 bottles <laughs> bottles of bud the cans are mank the fucking tap is mank the crate of bud yeah. yeah, bottles yeah. of bud are fucking lethal. Plus, they have a screw off cap, so you Key. know Dude. you're happy out. Yeah, screw off cap, wood. screw off cap, and um, <laughs> anyway, we were saying, look, we may get something mental. And like, I've been, I've been a man now for uh, blue Gatorade lately. Mm. I'm loving blue oh, flavored drinks and stuff. Stop, stop, yeah. It didn't mix it. I, I love blue Gatorade. Yeah, it's so Unreal. fucking good. It's so the fucking best good. hangover cure. Anyone's listening, I think yeah, they have literally. them in certain maces. When I was over in the summer doing J one, I used to always get after a night of a blue Gatorade. Yeah. Unreal, like. Blue Gatorade or uh, Lucas Ed Sport Orange are yeah, the yeah, best things fine. you can get. Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah. I, I was walking around and I seen, uh, you know, obviously you know Wicked, right? There was Wicked Cocktails pre-made, right? Oh, yeah. And I was like, it was just, it was called Blue Lagoon or something. And I don't mm. know what it was. It was only like 5.5%. Like, you know, it was no fucking hectic or anything. Yeah. And I was looking at it and I was like, if this tastes anything like Gatorade, I will absolutely love this. <laughs> and I seen underneath it smirting off ice. <laughs> Oh. I was like, I mean, my balls are going to shrivel up and I'm going to grow a vagina now if I buy this. <laughs> but you know what? I bought it anyway. And uh, we ended up a litre of Smirnoff and a litre of blue fucking wicked Gatorade shit. Like, mix it together. Literally just tastes like blue Gatorade. Oh, uh, really? Best shit. Didn't get, didn't feel and off it. Like, you Probably know not. I, mean? it's, it's I felt more off the Budweiser, but yeah. fuck me, it tastes You're, you're basically class. diluting now in blue wicked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it's they're both 5.5%. Like, so I was like, oh, so really? it's grand. Like, it's basically just drinking 55 anyway. Yeah. And I uh, drank a litre of it, and it tasted amazing. It kind of looked like a, a chug jug or something from Fortnite. <laughs> it was just glowing <laughs> blue. Like, it was blue stuff. Definitely yeah. not good for you. Oh my God, I probably settled on the summer half. Well, you probably like the lads. It was called the Granny's Arse, right? I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's, um, Granny's Arse. They get. You know the you know the water that's flavored sparkling water, just off brand, say in Tesco or Central, right? And they get nagging, pour it, like so they drink three or four big gulps of the yeah the drinks two liters, then pour the nagging in and then down the whole thing, two liters. Just a lot of spark. But you probably love it though. You're into that all that potion shit. So yeah, well it's true. <laughs> like I like I like to uh, I like to mix it about and you know. I, uh, look around me for taste buds that kind of way you yeah, know yeah. so I'd be mixing like random shit like like you ever have um, Jack Daniels uh, does do really nice different types of whiskey so they do like honey whiskey mm, yeah. and that's fucking lethal yeah, stuff you ever mix that with lemonade no tasty absolutely tasty you know there's actually like a peanut butter whiskey you can get now 
Have you actually uh, seen that? Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Um, I'd love to try that now. I had a smell of it uh, in a bar once and it just smells unreal. It's like Reese's. But I don't know what you'd mix it with now. Peanut butter or whiskey. You'd probably just you have know, it straight. You know what's fucking class? Babies. Thanks for watching the first half of this episode. If you'd like to listen to the rest, head over to our Spotify. Link is in the bio.